Hello everyone, it's Ella back and I'm Kenna, the Biggie Excuse of Fan, and today I am doing another book review. Uh, this is episode 123 of the Geekslam series, and this is uh, book one of series 2000 called Cry of the Cat. This is about a girl named Allison who starts doing a play with her school, and when she's going to the rehearsals one day on her bike, she hits this cat. Uh, she seems a name tag on it, and its name is Rip. R.I.P. Get it? Uh, and she sees a house with a nearby uh, door open, and she bring she brings the cat, the dead cat, uh, to that house and knocks on the door and says, "Hey, I think I killed your cat. I'm really sorry." And there's a girl that named Crystal that owns the cat and being and says like, "Oh, you killed Rip. Oh no." Uh, so um. Allison thinks really nothing of it, and she goes to her rehearsals normally, and she uh, starts acting like a cat there, and acting very strange, and showing cat behaviors. Uh, so she's kind of wondering what's going on. Allison also collects uh, a lot of mice stuff, like mice stuffed animals, uh, picture f pictures of them, stuff like that. And when she got home, she... Uh, tore up all her stuff without thinking and destroyed her whole collection. She's kind of wondering, like, oh no, what happened? Uh, and Allison ends up, uh, killing this cat two more separate times. And Allison is act coughing up hairballs, jumping off tall ladders, because that's what cats do. Allison is slowly and slowly turning into a cat. Allison finally thinks that she has to um, go back to Crystal and say, hey, what's going on? So basically, Rip, as you know, cats have nine lives. And Rip has already used up eight lives. So, and uh, using the same three times that Allison killed her, killed him. And Allison, and Rip is trying to kill Allison to take one of her lives her whole life because humans only have one and now and rip has been killed multiple times before that so it's kind of weird um allison finally takes one of her mouse toys that went in her pocket and kind of tricks tricks all the evil cats into kind of like clawing each other and stuff and that's basically how the book ends the curse is off everyone and yeah good book i suggest it and Stay tuned for a filming location video that's going to be coming out very soon. It's really cool. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys!